All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Roller, and welcome to a brand new review. And this time around, we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me review by Arrow Films. And you can pick this up on Blu-ray at all your favorite online retailers. It is a film from 2022 titled The Righteous. So Arrow, every couple times a year, they release some really interesting modern films. Uh, last year, they released a film called The Bloodhound, which I really, really liked. Really weird, quirky movie. And uh, this month in July, they have released this film, The Righteous. So what do I think about this movie? Well, this movie was directed by Mark O'Brien. If you guys don't know him, he was one of the leads in the film Ready or Not, which came out a couple years ago. It was actually one of the better studio films to come out that year. But this is his directorial debut. He wrote this movie, and he directed it. He also acts in it. And it's just a really... Uh, it, it proves that... Sometimes when you, even though if you don't have the most original script, if you have really solid performances and really great cinematography, uh, your film could stand out. And this movie really does have some really fantastic performances by um, Henry Cerdney. I think that's how you pronounce it. He was also in Ready or Not. He's the lead in this movie. He plays off uh, Frederick Mason, who is a, uh, who's a priest. He was a priest, and then he left the ministry because he met this woman, and they got married, and they adopted a little girl. And one day, this little girl was riding her bike, and she got killed by a driver. She got ran over and hit by a driver. So it's basically um, Frederick and um, what's the, Ethel, that's his wife, um, coming to terms with this tragedy, this tragedy, and trying to figure out, oh, maybe he has another calling in life, and maybe he should go back to becoming a priest. And one night, this stranger appears out of the woods and uh, lands on their doorstep back to, practically with a busted up foot. And this guy is uh, very interesting. He has a very upbeat personality, but you can tell there's something sinister to him. And as the film progresses, uh, this character, who's named Aaron, starts to challenge... Uh, Frederick's faith and uh, who he is as a person and what he believes in. Really uh, simple movie. Not a lot going on. A lot of dialogue. Though. Heavy, heavy dialogue. And as the film goes on, we learn, we start to piece together that there's not something right with Aaron. Something supernatural, if you want to say, is going on with Aaron. And it's basically just a battle between Frederick doing what he thinks is right, not only with his faith, but um, with his relationship with Ethel. Just a, a really uh, interesting film. And if it had bad performances, I don't feel like uh, the film would have been as good as I thought that it was. But luckily, we have really great performances. And this film is shot completely in black and white and monochrome. It looks absolutely beautiful, this movie. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. If you guys like black and white films, you definitely will want to check this one out. I mean, it's just really, really, really beautiful. This one shot where Frederick is standing on his porch and the light behind him is turned on and he's in complete shadow but it's just illuminating from that one light in the window. It's just absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous movie. And um, I was really, really surprised with how amazing it looks because it's definitely an independent, low-budget kind of film. But, you know, when you have... Like I said, good acting and high uh, production value, y you stand out. And I feel like this movie really does stand out. I, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was quite good. I thought the ending kind of lame a little bit in my opinion, but I feel like the rest of the film was really, really great and um, really questioned uh, characters' faiths and what they believe in. And it... You know, it plays more to a drama than it does a horror show. There's some supernatural things going on with it. But, you know, it's more about, uh, as it says on the back, it's more similar to like a Bergman film where, uh, you know, you got your um, horror elements to it, but it, it, it questions things and it, it, asks, its que and it asks its characters, um, you know, different questions and things like that. So... Um, I definitely think you guys should check this film out. It's it's, it's not going to be for everybody. Uh, you know, I like these kind of, you know, heavy dialogue-based films. And I know not a lot of people really like those. But if you like 
character-driven films, I feel like you're going to like it. Um, like I said, black and white cinematography transfers is absolutely great on this movie. It looks fantastic, as it should. It's a modern film. Got a 5.1 uh, audio track, a uh, new commentary track by Mark O'Brien, and the editor uh, interviews with the cast and crew, and um, another roundtable discussion with the crew and cast. Uh, Q and A that was from uh, Fantasia Fest, which is you know one of the best genre festivals out there, and another Q and A with a uh, Mark O'Brien from uh, Grim Fest, and you got the original soundtrack, image gallery, and uh, original score. As for the package, you get your usual typical aerial package. This time around, though, you get a nice slip cover, and you got your disc with reversible cover art. And your booklet, which talks about the film, some of the themes, and things like that. As always, I always recommend you guys check out the Arrow booklets. Um, lots of interesting information in there. So That's The Righteous. I think it's a really, really good modern film. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. Like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. But I really did enjoy it. I think uh, some of the performances in this movie are really, really great. So that is my review of The Righteous. If you guys like this review, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash NESRuler22. Hope everybody's doing all right, and I shall talk to you guys soon. See you guys.